Hey Lando, solid top 10 start. How are you feeling? Um, uh, I'm happy to be honest. Um, um, yeah, I heard a little bit because could have maybe been two positions ahead. You know, position the mistake maybe cost me a couple tenths, and uh, that would have been two two positions. So um, a bit annoyed about that, but nevertheless, I think I'm so happy. Like it was a tough day. I think we made good progress all weekend from where we were. Um, you know, we didn't think we'd be even in Q3, so uh, I'm happy and um, a good chance for us to score some points tomorrow. I was going to say, how are you feeling about tomorrow? If you've made improvements through today, does that give you more optimism for tomorrow? Um, it's, it's tough. I don't think like we're out of position, let's say. Um, you know, I felt like I was driving well today and, and putting the laps in, even though I made the mistake at the end. So um, just because we're behind doesn't necessarily mean we have a much better car than them because of where I was in Q2. So we'll see. Um, it's a bit of a unexplored territory with the race, you know, doing so many laps on a, on a single set of tyres. The track, you know, how it's going to change throughout the race with um, the stones and, uh, and the, the crap that's on it. Um, but uh, we're in a good position, so we can, uh, we can score, score some good points from it. Hey, Daniel, what happens in qualifying? Uh, the outlap and uh, couldn't, uh, let's say, couldn't do tyre prep, so uh, obviously compromised and just, yeah, um, shame because I know it's only Q1, but I think we're in a, a solid spot looking at that and uh, I think we could have had a see a much, much different day with uh, a little little better fortune. You can have some optimism if there's inherent pace in the car for tomorrow? Um, yeah, I think uh, there's 13 cars in front, so it's going to be like some oil or something in turn one for those 13 and then I'll be okay.